80, this um, little video is for you. I'm going to show you what I do with the uh, gradient tool and perhaps you can have some fun with it. And this is the screen I see when I open up ArtRage. Now I've made the canvas smooth and here is the gradient pod. And you want to go to settings and here's a gradient. Now uh, it's on diamond. Press it there. Do you notice it's on difference? And watch what happens when I hit it again. It makes a different pattern. Bring some color. And if you keep clicking, it just keeps changing. Uh, go to the angle. Hit that. Hit it again. And if I hit control and hold it and move the cursor, it'll make it go that way. Interesting. If you want uh, the reflect, just hold, hit control. Watch what it does. Makes those nice interesting lines. Go over to this, the, this one here, linear. Add more. What do you think? So gradient, yeep, yeep, yeep. Just play with it and go to the selection tool and hit the magic wand and it, if you hold down control shift you can hit many different places and it's selecting those areas watch what happens if I go to the paint tube and let's just choose this nice bright blue see it just fills in where the selection tool has worked and you have those and uh, select control D and it takes away that selection. Um, what else? Watch this. I want to do the selection tool and it will select what I just put on the screen and I can do the uh, paint tube again. Let's do red and it'll just fill in with the red where the selection tool has picked picked out the area and so you can start to get a sculpted look if you use the glitter tool and use that red ball and glitter size blah 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 just fill it in and then for the fun of it go to the uh, knife and presets and choose instant blur and you go over it and it makes it interesting. If you go down and do metallic and we'll use the uh, glitter again and watch what it'll do. I'm just filling in a little bit of the areas. Okay. Knife. Spread it. And it comes out. Kind of neat looking. So, And then sh control D and it takes away the those marks so there you go